All right, so check this out. I'm not going to be able to, to actually use it because I don't have uh, proper antennas and I got to get out uh, somewhere where I can have a reference signal and uh, aim. I've kind of got an area picked out. I'll have to get to that later. But here's a real time passive radar. I never actually got around to trying the passive radar with the uh, Kraken, uh, well, sorry, the Kerberos SDR, which I still have. And uh, never actually got around to it with the Kraken SDR. Uh, so uh, this is actually for the SDR Play RSP Duo. And I, I saw it mentioned, well actually someone mentioned it to me. And um, so in, in perfect timing, I actually got my RSP Duo back, uh, courtesy of, uh, actually got it a while back from SDR Play. So. Um, of course, always appreciate that support. Had been without it for about a year, and now it's back. And perfect timing, because uh, let's take a look at this real-time passive radar on the um, War Dragon. I'll probably, um, you know, set it up on there if there's no issue and uh, include it. But if not, it's right here for the time being at the GitHub.com and this particular repo here. If you don't have a Docker set up on uh, Dragon OS. You can look at my other, uh, or my repo here, this Flight View GUI, and um, this is taken actually right from the Docker, a particular Docker page. Put it on here, just copy and paste that in, that'll get you set up uh, correctly to run what we're about to do here. So if we look down at this repository, just a few directions here. Important thing, you got to have RSP Duo. I've got Dragon OS here, and everything is set up already uh, to utilize that RSP Duo. Yep, there we go. And let's see, so pretty straightforward. I got a set of directions here. The API is already, um, you know, if you've got Dragon OS running and you followed uh, everything when you got it set up, then you already have the API going. Just get clone this down. They're putting it in the op directory, and that's fine. Uh, let's see what else. I am going to make a change for the time being. Let's go into this blah too. And the developer pointed this out. Uh, probably going to be fixed um, here soon. But let's see, radar four. Remember that radar four because we need to edit our. For the time being, we need to edit this line right here to use the other config. Radar 4. Uh, I'm sure probably by like tomorrow or so that will be fixed and you just will use the, the standard config.yml. Uh, let me think, what else? Uh, I've already done the uh, adding of the network. It is looking for that. Um, if you follow the guide to install Docker, that should be taken care of. Last thing, we really should just have to do the Docker Compose up. Of course, you're going to need internet to do this. Uh, the first time, it's going to pull the, uh, the Docker files. And I'm not going to detach it. I'm not going to push it to the background so we can kind of see what's going on here. When you run it for the first time, you're going to see it downloading everything that you need. Uh, I've already got them going. And I'm just looking here. Yeah, being that I changed that config file, everything looks like it's running. And it tells you right here, hey, radar processing output available on 49152. So let's take a look. And it's running pretty straightforward. Um, again, I can't really like show too much here just because of the current setup, but I figure I share this. Anyone else out there that has an RSP Duo, give it a shot. You can click on controller. I was kind of messing around in here and looking at the different displays. Uh, there's some max hold detections. Uh, none of the API or stash, maybe that's just a work in progress I've seen uh, available yet. And I was looking future work, pretty interesting, adding uh, that ADSB overlay and then support for other uh, SDRs, HackerF and RTL SDR, which 
to me, well, then should be able to use it with the Kraken SDR. So get it while it is available, and yeah, I'll be back uh, with uh, once I can actually get out, um, maybe see uh, if I can put it against the tower around here and then point it off at some uh, aircraft, I guess. All right. Thanks. Hope that helps.